Ken Stedman is a virologist and professor of biology at Portland State University. He joins us now live from Portland, Oregon. Hi there, Ken. You know, we've spoken to you multiple times now about uh, this virus. Did you expect to hear this declaration of a pandemic from the WHO today? Yes, actually, I did expect to hear this. Um, I think it's been quite a long time in coming. Um, as Dr. Gedros mentioned, however, you really be careful about using the word pandemic so that people do not actually become panicked at the process. But in terms of just spreading, this is definitely the case. Okay, so I mean, in medical terms, what does it really mean to declare a pandemic? Declaring the pandemic just really means that this is a disease which is spreading through multiple different countries. And that's really what's happening now, is it's really spreading, it's moved well beyond China, and is now really spreading throughout the world. Okay, do you think from where you are in the United States, it's being managed well? That's a really good question. And I think a lot of it has to do with diagnosis, one of the big questions. And we still have lots of questions. That's one of the things with these diseases. It's moving so quickly, we have lots of questions and not that many answers. So we're trying to get as many answers as we can. And really, it's getting the data, getting the answers in terms of who has the disease, and then there's still all kinds of questions about how easy is it to be transmitted? Do kids get it? Are they transmitting it? Still lots and lots of questions that we need to answer. So, I mean, the one, you know, country that has seemingly tried to produce as much data as possible on it, because it seems they've experienced the worst and has now, have now gotten past it, are the Chinese. Um, from the data we've seen from China, this disease really only seems to severely affect those over the age of 70. Uh, it doesn't really adversely affect children, which is very encouraging. Um, and that the majority of people, 70% or higher, actually really don't suffer severe symptoms. So are you encouraged by that data or do you still, are you still skeptical of what you're hearing? I'm very encouraged by that data. And it looks as if it's not just the Chinese data. If you look at some of the South Korean data as well, it looks very similar. And they're probably in a sort of similar state. At the same time, I'm very concerned about what's happening in Italy. And that seems to be a very more extreme case. Many more people getting sick and people getting very sick indeed. In terms of your question about older people getting more sick than younger people, that seems to be very true. Exactly why that is is something that scientists are trying to figure out. Okay, Ken Stedman, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate it.